What's going on, rascals of the universe? It's your boy fucking Inside Eleven, man. And right now we're talking about distractions are a form of self-delusion, right? On the path of purpose. So let's get right into this, man. A purpose in life, right, is like a path we're treading upon. A journey of your own choosing, right? But when you're on that journey, right? When you're on that path, right? When you know you have a you have this pursuit of an ideal life, but this pursuit of an ideal life must be coupled with the pursuit of the ideal self that can meet that life, right? And this is why I'm talking about this, because a lot of the times when people get distracted on their path, on their journey, it's a form of self-delusion because a person is sitting there and they're lying to themselves about the time and energy and the effort that they truly need to, to put in for that character to be realized and for that ideal life to be manifested, right? So hopefully you're walking down that journey, down that path with, you know, willpower by determination, right? And if you're not walking down that path with willpower, with determinations, see, there's something called distractions and these, and these distractions are going to come up through your own mind to get you off of that path because the mind always wants to go down the path it's familiar with, the path that it's known its whole life, because that's the path of least resistance. The mind don't want you to go fight all this perceived resistance for you to grow and overcome, right? It's easier for your mind to get you to succumb to it and its pursuit of comfortability rather than going for the uncomfortable thing that leads to growth, right? So when you're going down this journey, when you're going down this path, hopefully with willpower and determination, if not, then you will be easily deterred by other variables and factors, right? And when you proceed to pursue the distraction, because really it's a form of escaping the uncomfortability of responsibility and the discipline that will help you develop that strength of character, right? Rather than being an individual, actually committing yourself, right, uh, to that purpose wholeheartedly, we may do it half-heartedly, right? Where this is the serving two masters energy, right? Where you think you can go to the gym, run on the treadmill and eat a box of donuts all at the same time and still lose weight. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like you should already have it up in your mind that, hey, if I'm honestly, earnestly gonna get to that ideal life, you have to understand that it's also gonna be coupled with an ideal character, right? And a lot of the times the current character that we may have developed you know, due to the environment's influences or just, you know, due to whatever mental cycle that we're in that we keep recreating through whatever thoughts and feelings that we keep sparking, you know, unknowingly and knowingly. Because a, a part of this shit is being a good observer, right? If you know the nature of your own mind, then you also have no excuses not to be able to get out of it and beat it. Because once you know your nature, you all humans like comfortability. They like comfortable shit. If I can sit here on my app, or go on DoorDash or Uber Eats, give me a chicken sandwich every day. That's some comfortable shit. You're telling me I don't gotta go drive? Don't, don't, I don't gotta do much? Of course I'm not gonna do wanna do much. I'm not gonna wanna get in the car, drive to, to the fucking Popeyes and give me a Popeyes chicken sandwich. I can get someone else to deliver it, right? It's the easy, comfortable thing to do. So a person has to get rid of this chase for comfortability because until you're able to get rid of it, you're still gonna be dealing with that double mind where you're trying to pursue a life of purpose. A person may try to pursue a life of meaning, but they keep being self-deluded about the nature of the thing that they actually have to do to get to where they claim they wanna be, right? Because that's, that's the mind. The mind is gonna distract you, but the mind is just a tool. So if you let that tool control you rather than you controlling that tool, then it becomes a problem because now a person is self-deluded and they have these expectations and misplaced dependencies that they place on other people thinking that someone is supposed to give them something that they are entitled to. No, nobody owes you nothing, but you can become worthy of the thing that, you know, you quote unquote, or look at as an ideal life, right? In, in, the, in, in the pursuit of purpose, right? On the path of purpose, right? So basically, like I said, this creates that double-minded program where a person is trying to achieve, be, or reach a goal, but they allow themselves to be distracted and start to slip up 
and become lost or you know or become far removed from that original trajectory right that they had set up for themselves right because a lot of the times a person may set up a goal on their mind that a person might tell themselves some shit like you know what i'm gonna fast this week or you know for the next two days right at the same time though remember your mind is always looking for comfortability so your mind's gonna tell you hey man you remember that bread we got from costco Man, let's go get that bread again. Hey, man, you remember that chocolate bar we got from the grocery store? Man, that would be so good to have right about now. Because your own nature is going to speak to you, right? And you're going to have to learn to deny your nature. You have to learn to, to train your mind. Because your mind was trained for you. But if you really want to achieve that, you know, ideal life, if you really want to achieve that character, right, the only way to do it is to live in the spirit of truth. Because you can't lie to yourself and lie to others about what you do, right? Because if I'm sitting here, I'm telling people, guys, I'm going to the gym every single fucking day, right? But in the next nine months, if I'm not losing any weight, obviously I must be doing something wrong. Either I'm not going to the gym, something is going, something is, because look, one plus one don't equal fucking three. One plus one equal two, right? So some shit doesn't add up, Right? And this happens because a person will choose to purposely distract themselves, but in the pursuit of a goal, that's self-delusion. A person can become so self-deludedly lost in themselves that they lose track of the essential sequence of happenings that need to go down for them to get to that path. And then what happens? A person is 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, talking about, oh, I wish I did that thing that I wanted to do, but I didn't do it because of, I was distracted. Yeah, see, distractions are probably the most dangerous shit that you can deal with. Because if some, if your own mind can distract you from the trajectory that you have set up and can get you off that trajectory, but you're listening to yourself and you're, you know, Letting your own brain tell you what the fuck is up. And you're following down that line and you're pretending. People pretend as if whatever feeling that they're following, whatever comfortability, whatever idea that came up that is in not, that is not in alignment with their ideal life. They First, they get on the path. They follow the path. And then an idea, a feeling, they mind tell them, hey, let's do this thing that's off of the path. Now, there's nothing wrong with it, right? But you got to do it within a reasonable amount like you know can't be out here like i said you can't be out here talking about i'm going to lose we're, going to use, we're just going to use the analogy of losing weight for just understanding that okay if my goal is to lose weight or let's say my goal is to become the world best personal trainer i understand that it's going to be some things that i need to apply to become the world best personal trainer the lack of application of those things that can cause me to become the, uh, the world best personal trainer it's going to result in, in you know, not achieving that goal due to not being fucking logical, due to not being fucking practical, a.k.a. a person that's lost in fucking self-delusion. Because you can't be talking about, I got this goal, I got this purpose, but, you know, whatever it is, right? And in the whole other time, yo, you're slacking off, not doing nothing about it, not even pursuing it being inactive not being active like so so there's something wrong then and this is why i'm talking about this right distractions are are a form of self-delusion right so let's keep going so now if you know you have a target but you subconsciously distract yourself from reaching that target then that is a form of self-delusion because there is an inconsistency between what's going on in your mind and the type of output that you're exuding as per as, as per as how you're using your time and energy, right? Because it's an inconsistency in your in the mind, right? An idea tells us go this way. I want to pursue this as a purpose, right? But the inconsistency between behaviors and the habits, if you can't close the gap between objectivity and your subjectivity, you're fucked. <laughs> Quite frankly, the person's gonna be fucked. Because in your subjectivity, you're a millionaire, but in your objectivity, you operate like a fucking idiot. So obviously, people are going to look at you like a fucking idiot because you can be in your own world all you want to, right? You can be you can convince yourself whatever you want to. But if you're not doing the behavior that's going to get you there, 
What else can you call a person like that other than self-delusional? Because you have a person like that has successfully deluded themselves into believing that they're actually going to get somewhere by not even applying any form of effort. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's see, it's like the shit is not deep. But niggas is deep. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So it's like when you do that, basically, all you're doing is covering up the truth for a lie, right? Lying to yourself is a form of self-delusion. And not only that, you also lie to others about who you truly are. So it's like then at that point, not only are you lying to yourself on a deep subconscious level, but you're also lying to others. And now your character, your integrity is in fucking question. Because it's like, okay, who are you really being at that point, right? It's like, and you can avoid all this if you just live in a spirit of truth and shit like that. If you're just like honest about yourself, honest about what you do, honest about who you are, honest about where you are. And if you're honestly, and if you honestly accept, like, I, and I don't mean this like, because here's the thing, words don't do this shit justice, man. You're going to do this shit within your own mind. If you honestly just recognize your own weaknesses, if you honestly just recognize your own shortcomings, and you truly actively work on overcoming these things, People will genuinely see that, okay, this person is trying. No, no, I don't want to use that word trying. It's better to just do it because at the end of the day, you know where that's going to get you. Like, you know what being, what distracting yourself all day is going to get you. One day, it's going to be a rainy day and you're not going to be prepared for it. Because here's the thing, the system we're in creates these ways for you not to take care of shit yourself, but it's going to take care of for you. It's going to take care of you, for you, but it's going to be like an exchange. You know what I'm saying? So you might you might end up being in rehab, but you know the shit that got you in rehab in the first place. So it's like if you just took care of it, you wouldn't be in fucking rehab. Like, I mean, rehab, I'm not going to lie, that shit's kind of for like slow people. You have to be like a little bit slow. Like, I'm not even going to front, bro. We're on some real shit. So this gap between this ideal life and the character you wish to be and pursue without without becoming self-deluded about who you are is to accept the harsh reality. A person has to accept a person that's self-deluded has not yet even accepted the harsh reality about reality. Like they haven't even accepted the fact that it's gonna take them a, a, a lot of uncomfortability, a lot of uncomfortable experiences to get to where they want to, or a lot of uh, negative experiences and stuff like that, right? Right? So you have to accept the harsh, uncomfortable reality of life and to be willing to put forth the willpower, the determination, and the focus needed for it to be realized. Because you'll basically have to fight yourself until you honestly have no need or want for that distraction. Because it's just that, a distraction that your mind comes up with to derail you. Now, if you're already self-distracted and the world presents you with a bunch of distractions, oh man, you're talking about, this is distraction heaven. You're talking about, man, you already self-distracted lost within yourself the moment you walk out of work. I, I got, if you don't got a plan, man, someone else got a plan for you. You can see an advertisement, yo, come to the club tonight at 6.30 p.m. We're gonna get wild. You're gonna go, wow, I can distract myself doing that. You might go to the convenience store, play a lot on mask. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying, like, it's about just being fucking realistic. Like, the world is already set up in such a way to distract you. And if you're not even in your own, if you're not, like, you know, what's it called? If you're not even, like, on your own team, like, you can't even manage yourself, bruh, it's not going to be too good, man. Because a person that's distracted, a person, because look, man, a person that's distracted, they're like basically purposely lying to themselves, right? And they're trying to perpetrate themselves to be something that behind closed doors, they're not really working towards type of shit, right? Now look, depending on how your charts is set up, shit can get fucking weird and stuff like that too, right? But that's the thing, man. You don't want to be a person that's sitting there distracted, talking about you something, but you're not doing the work that's associated with getting to that point, right? Because at that point, it's going to be seen as fraudulent and you don't want to be fraudulent especially if you're in the world of business especially if you're in the world of goddamn social media and shit like that because you got a you got a thousand eyes already looking at you you got a bunch of motherfuckers pointing their gun at you and they can't wait to shoot that shit 
right? So you can't be out here with your gun pointed at yourself because it's like it's gonna be too easy at that point, you know. So that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? So you have to choose to leave that space behind by being honest with yourself, right? It all starts with being in the spirit of truth and honesty with yourself, right? And the mind will always try to pull you out of uh the mind will always try to pull you out of uh, uh, uh out of uh, I don't know what the fuck I wrote, man. But the point is this, right? The mind will always try to pull you out of uncomfortability, right? But that's the equation that you need to actually practice and participate with because that's what's going to lead to growth of character, right? The unfamiliar, right? Uh, and the unfamiliar, right? Blah, blah, blah. Back into familiarity. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck I wrote here at this point. The point is you practice unfamiliarity, unfamiliarity, right? Shit that's difficult to deal with, blah, blah, blah. Right, it's not, it's not because it's difficult, it's because we perceive it to be difficult. Point is, it leads to growth of character, but you being comfortable in life, you choosing to be distracted only leads to stagnation, and stagnation is not growth, it's just staying still. And honestly, you're not really, really stagnating, you're either going to be appreciating in value or you're going to be depreciating in value and shit, and shit like that. So, there's no like, there's no in between, really, there's no like middle ground. There is, you can. The middle ground really is just when you when you're doing that work, but you rest. Okay, you can stagnate, then it's cool. Like you're resting because you know you have, you're cooling down your system from the work that you've just done. Okay, that's cool, right? And yeah, that's like pretty much like all I really had to say and shit like that, right? Like that's the thing though. Like it's no stagnation. Like stagnation. Okay, if you're resting, okay, cool, right? It's like when you're working out, you rest. You let your muscles relax. So for the next workout or the next set, you can engage uh more right via recovery and stuff like that right but there's a time and place to recover and shit like that but if you're just on some permanent stagnation shit that's like some depreciating in value shit you're not even like appreciating in value you're actually depreciating in value and stuff like that so it's not it doesn't lead to growth so it's not it's not fucking conflate the two and shit like that but yeah with that being said man that's all i really have to say for today Distractions are a form of self-delusion. A person that's distracting themselves is personally deluded about the harsh reality and the hard work that you actually need to put through the time and the energy, right? To get to that place that you claim you want to be. With that being said, everybody, peace out. I'm going to see y'all motherfucking tomorrow. Peace out.